Usually it goes clink. Oh, here we go. We're, we're on. We're good. <laughs> I'm as good at this as I am on the computer, aren't I? <laughs> go ahead. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. So, uh, welcome back. My name is Tim. This is over the years, and we are about to show you guys everything that has sold uh, recently. What is selling right now? It is from Monday to Sunday. Today is I don't even know. Today lost, is Tuesday. Lost track of days. June the whatiest. <laughs> Tuesday, June right. the eighth. Ninth. Ninth. Yeah. You sure about that? That's no, what your phone I don't says. Think so. That's what my phone said. Uh -huh. Oh shit! I wonder if I was had to go to the dentist today. I don't think so. Wow. Well. Uh oh. Well, let me go look. I think I screwed up. So we're good. My yeah. dukes did not did not miss her dentist appointment. I take her tomorrow morning. What time do we have to be there? We have to be there at nine a.m. Fun. When do they start? They don't march in that area, do they? Oh, shoot. They don't march in that vicinity. Should we be can, okay. Yeah, I should be okay. It's dropped me off. Yeah. How long is it going to be tomorrow? Um, Probably a couple of hours. Okay. If not longer, it's the... Per, uh, they just start my crowns. They put in my temporary crowns. All right, so we're going to show you guys everything that sold. We made sales on eBay, Etsy, Grailed, and Poshmark. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see, what are we going to start with? Do, 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 you said do. eBay. You want to start with eBay? Yep. We'll start with eBay. All right, so the first thing that sold on eBay... I had picked up a lot of these patches and a few of them were pretty rad and this was definitely one of them. This was a vintage Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall Casino Las Vegas patch uh, and that sold for $25 plus shipping. So I was basically less than a dollar in per patch. So this is a nice flip and I think this is the second one or third one we sold? Probably the I think it's only the second. Second. The third one will be coming up soon. Then I sold my second golf club of the four that I have listed so far. This was a vintage 1996 Callaway Big Bertha pitching wedge with a steel shaft. It was a right-handed club. And this I found in the bags of clubs that were sitting on the side of the street. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put that link up there for you. Um, and that sold for $25.59 plus shipping. Shout out to my man Casey, the Carolina Hustler, because, you know, he uh, helped me out tremendously with uh, getting getting going on selling these golf clubs. Next up was this absolutely gorgeous antique mother of pearl satin glass blue diamond quilted large rose bowl. Um, and I picked this up at a yard sale. Whew. It must have been like early this year or late last year yard sale but it had been sitting on my etsy store for a while and then i went ahead and transferred it over to ebay and it sold probably a couple weeks after i listed it and that sold for 65 dollars plus shipping uh next thing that went out from ebay more furbies we are chomping down the furby tree chopping chopping yeah. down the Furby tree, they're like heading the out. The trail. Yeah, they're heading out one, slowly but surely. Uh, this is all pure profit on these uh, Furbies. This pair of Furbies went out the door for $7 plus shipping. Next up was this uh, Hazel Atlas uh, barware set. So it was this uh, ice bucket and four glasses. It was milk glass and it had like the Grecian key around the top and the bottom and then like warriors on the actual glasses and mugs 
This was uh, on my Etsy store for a while. It was also taken to the flea market a bunch of times, but it never sold. I flipped it over to eBay and this woman messaged me and said, I broke my bowl today. I never thought I'd ever find this pattern and boom, it was sold. So that sold for $40 plus shipping. Uh, next up is another hat from the vintage hat haul that I did. And if you haven't seen that epic unboxing with Cernok, I'll put the link up top for you guys. It's pretty awesome. These hats have been moving and I have maybe listed like 5% of them so far. But this was a vintage 90s Hawaii spell out snapback hat red and blue. Um, in the in the background on, behind Hawaii is actually a place called Diamond Point. Sunny from Las Vegas Thrift told me that. And literally the day that I was getting ready to like add that in the description and keyword it up, it sold. So that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. <laughs> The next thing that sold was this uh, novelty hat. This also came from that same hat haul. This is a vintage 90s novelty working trucker hat, red and black snapback. It says, I wish I had less to do, more time to do it in, and got paid more for not getting it done. So, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lazy way of living. So that sold for $15 plus shipping. The next thing that sold was this really awesome uh, vintage Dick Tracy military set brush from the 1930s, 40s. Uh, and that was another one of those items that had been sitting in my Etsy store that I kind of flipped over to eBay to see how it would do. It took a couple weeks, but it sold for $20 plus shipping. Next up was another hat. So this hat, I actually, two, the next two hats I've had since the first time I bought hats after watching Cernok for the first time. And I ended up building a relationship with that person and I've bought some other stuff from them as well. But this was a, a vintage snapback from the Million Family March and that sold for $13 plus shipping. I, I took an offer on that one for a little bit less than I normally would, knowing that I had two of these hats. So it was not, not that big of a deal. This is a piece that sold that I thought was super rad and I'm shocked that it has lasted so long this was a vintage mid-century modern roulette wheel and casino games tin drink tray um it's it's just pretty cool to me i think it would be a dope decor piece uh but it finally sold on ebay and it sold for 18 dollars plus shipping this was the second hat that sold that was from the first ever hat haul that I had. I also have two of these hats. This is a vintage snapback. It says Temple Israel. It's a royal blue and it's got the rope on it as well. And I took an offer on that for $8 plus shipping. Uh, this plush that sold was also in that same lot with all the uh, Furbies. And this was a from the Austin Powers. It was a Mr. Bigglesworth, which was like his little cat, right? I... Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that it was actually like one of those those plushes where like if you press the button, it'll um yeah or make some sort of noise. I don't know because it didn't work. Oh. So that's why I was like whatever. And pure profit, this dude was going back and forth with me. I was like, look, you here, you can have it. Eleven dollars. I want it out of here. So that sold for eleven dollars plus shipping. So that's everything that sold on eBay Monday through Sunday. Now, we will show you everything that has sold on Etsy. Uh, so we started off the week with a bang. Um, this piece was actually in my... So when I first created my clearance section on my Etsy store, it was mainly to get rid of items that had been sitting for a long time or items that weren't getting a lot of traction. And, you know, I was just trying to create some some traffic in that area. And then I kind of just threw in a couple of pieces in the mix that were higher end pieces just to kind of entice people a little bit. And this was one of them. This was a gorgeous antique Victorian custard glass pitcher. It was applied glass um, and it was Vaseline glass. It, it glows. And it was made, I was not able to pin down the exact maker, which is, can be very difficult with these sort of um, applied glass pieces. But it was either Stevens and Williams or Herrick, one of those two companies that was what I thought it would, could have been. So the buyer was all in for that piece for $104.39. Next up are these really cute vintage uh, Cambridge glass Caprice 
um moonlight blue is the name of the color they were like seashell um shapes but they were nut dishes and those the buyer was all in for 22 dollars and seven cents next up wedgwood jasperware the streak continues it is amazing because so many people have said you know like jasperware market is down and they've been saying that for two years but i don't know we continuously sell jasperware don't we we do and I mean, these are these. If you ever see these Jasperware Demitasse cups, they sell for really good money. Um, some of the, the different color ones. I sold the black. I remember selling the black one, and I sent it to Australia, and that sold for like a hundred dollars. I think it was crazy. So this person got two uh, Demitasse cups. One was the pale blue color, and the other was the green Jasperware color. The green one had an inside, the glaze on the inside. Yeah, they were identical except for that. Yeah, which was interesting. Yeah. There, there are some pieces that uh, in the Jasperware line that have the glaze on the inside and some that don't, which is very interesting. It makes sense to me if you want to use it. You yeah. want to get the, the glaze. For sure. <clears throat> That uh, stuff's pretty porous. Yeah, and but it's it was gorgeous. Both those two little cups and saucers, and the buyer was all in on those two pieces for eighty nine dollars and twenty three cents. The next thing that sold was this really cute Hall China uh, creamer. It was like a restaurant wear sort of style, right? It was pretty heavy, mm -hmm. and it had a uh, I think it was little Bo Peep on it. Yeah, it had some nursery rhyme figure. I think it was little yeah. Bo Peep. Yeah, oh, I said it was little Bo Peep, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the buyer was all in on that creamer for $31.22. Next up, I had two items that were listed in my clearance section. And each listing contained two pieces. So the first thing was these uh, vintage Lillian Vernon. Um, they're like uh, water bottles. And they had these really pretty flowers on them. And they were from the mid-90s. And they were Italian. And that was $29.99. And then the other thing was these vintage Le Parfait glass fruit design canisters. Uh, there was a period in time when I was like really like... You were buying a lot of uh, juice glasses with matching pitchers and canisters. Yeah, that very yeah, like... Kitchen-y stuff. Yeah. And um, this was like... I mean, there's a, definitely a market for it, but it's just not what I had thought it was when I was originally buying these things in the early stages of, of hunting for vintage items. Yeah, so It is interesting because the Lillian Vernon Company has gone out of business, and I think I think the real lady, Lillian Vernon, must have passed away. Yeah, so the buyer was all in on those. Somebody out there likes it. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty water bottles. They are. Yeah, so... They, the buyer was all in for those items for $49.59. Next up was this vintage red metal Delta Electric Company power top lantern. Uh, I, you know, I go through these phases. And there was one of these phases where I was like, I was really into like industrial sort of things. Lanterns and, uh, you know. Fans. Fan, and yeah. But, I, I mean, this is a cool decor piece in my opinion. But the... This sold for, the buyer was all in for $54.53 on that piece. Uh, the next thing that sold was this Vintage Herod's character jug. Uh, it's just like a coffee mug. Um, and it was from <laughs> Made for Herod's or from Herod's. And that sold for $29.38. I always buy everything Herod's. Always. Yeah. I don't know why, but it always sells. This was a, uh, this is another thing I got early, early on stages. And this is before we knew what peak was, because if I, if we would have had peak on these plates, I probably would have realized I could get out these black marks on these plates. Knife marks. Yeah. yeah. And put, probably could have sold them for a lot more money. And I'm looking at the cost of shipping and realizing that I definitely muffed that one. So, this is a vintage Hazel Atlas Ovide dinner plate. It's a lot of seven. And the buyer is all in for $36.37. So, I don't know. We're going to have to figure something out on the shipping on those. Yeah. Uh, another piece of Hall China. Hall China is hot, 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 hot. This was a mid century modern cadet blue, um, the classic Hall ball jug shape. And the buyer is all in on the Cadet Blue Ball Jug for a total of $31.40. Next up, Pyrex. 
this we just picked this bowl up once the pyrex the pyrex is just flying like i can't wait to just find like that massive haul of pyrex but doing what we can to survive in the pyrex game this was a vintage pyrex woodland round mixing bowl 402 and the buyer was all in for 21 dollars and nine cents this next item believe it or not was the first piece of flow blue excuse me that i ever found um this was at the estate sale in four corners i went to remember oh yeah where i got my egg cup yes so this was uh antique fernvals gothic was the name of the pattern flow blue and it was a it's it's a saucer but it it, it was interesting because it kind of came up like it was a, a saucer for a bowl almost you know like a soup saucer it belonged to a set yeah so um that the buyer was all in for $44.38 on that saucer next up was this was actually a really uh cool piece pretty pretty and <laughs> pretty pretty and it was a vintage lennox imperial glass um very art deco-ish it was frosted pink and it was a powder jar or a candy box and on the top it had like a little b as the handle um, and the buyer was all in on that piece for $42.21. Next up, we sold another one of these little medical bottles. We just picked up a whole bunch um, at that uh, yard sale I was at. But these, they move in these like waves. I mean, I guess everything kind of moves in waves, right? Cyclical. Yeah, but like the, I, rem I know it's interesting when I can see like how much of a certain particular item is sold because I had a whole bunch box like very a big box iron mountain box. box i mean at one point it was bigger than that right we had two boxes going. one was an iron mountain and one was a smaller yeah box. and we were taking these bottles to the flea market and i sold a few at the flea market but mm -hmm. now it's down to like there might be like 10 bottles left it's it's crazy because i went including your new ones no not including no, the, the new ones the ones that we currently yeah. have listed so this was a antique uh capudin capudine um, it was an amber. It was a sample of uh, Hicks uh, headache medicine bottle. Uh, really cute, small uh, bottle, which they look awesome when you can put them in windows and the sunlight comes through. Um, oh, there's the window. Yeah, but the uh, this one, the buyer was all in for seventeen dollars on that bottle. So that's everything that's sold on Etsy. Now we're going to go ahead and show you guys everything that's sold on Grailed. Grailed has been doing really well as of late. Um, I'm going to do a video kind of like going over my uh, beginning, my first like 40 or first 50 sales on Grailed. Um, so this was a vintage NASCAR t-shirt from the NASCAR t-shirt hat law hop. I can never, those words are Nas, so... Just say NASCAR Hall. <laughs> NASCAR Hall. NASCAR Hall. If you haven't seen that video, I'll throw it up there for you guys. Um, this was a vintage 90s Dale Earnhardt. Um, it said seven-time champion. It was double-sided. And the buyer was all in on that shirt for $40. Uh, next up was this uh, Capitals hat. This was hat was so sick. And I picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar. Um, and I had gotten so many low ball offers on eBay, Poshmark and Grailed. Uh, it finally sold on Grailed. It actually ended up selling to somebody locally here in the area. Um, and that sold for 40 bucks. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Next up was this, uh, Hurley. It was a trucker hat, newer, newer, um, hat. Uh, and it was like a surf style hat and that sold for 15 bucks. Next up, this hat was pretty rad. This was a this came from the vintage hat hall, and this was a Colorado, very 90s vibe. It said Colorado in cursive, and it had a big C in the middle. Uh, really dope color scheme, and it was 90s snapback, and that sold for twenty dollars. The next one that sold was this uh, really dope black and silver POW MIA hat, and it had the uh, scrambled eggs on the bill. And the buyer, that was also a local buyer, somebody here in D.C., and that sold for $25. So those are the items that sold on Grailed. Next up, we did make two sales on Poshmark. The first thing was this super rad uh, Cleveland crew neck. And so, like, the C was the emblem of the Cleveland Indians. The L was the emblem, like, you know, not emblem, but it was the 
you know, the design was for it. It represented the three sports teams. So you had the Indians, the Browns, and the Cavaliers. So it was a pretty sick sweatshirt. Um, and the, that sold for $25. And the next thing that sold on Poshmark was another one of those patches that I got in that patch lot. It was the Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron patch. And the buyer bought that for $10. So that's everything that sold uh, Sunday through Monday. Kind of a slow stretch, but um, things have been doing pretty well so far this week. And I'm looking forward to, um, I've been really trying hard to list a lot and, you know, get better at everything that we do. So we appreciate you guys joining us along for this ride during our journey of full-time reselling and creating content on YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. We got another video coming out for you guys, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and we will check you guys next video.